Season 3 of Rolling Up to the North. Off-grid, tiny cabins, design, building, and maintenance in the middle of the northern forest. Where's Papa Nick? There's Papa over there. Who's that? Nick, who's that? There's pizza of uh, pork. Yeah. Go for a walk, Iris. Wanna go for a walk? Come on. Come on, big girl. There you go. Come on. Come on, let's go for a walk. 
Come on, you. You coming? Good girl. Come on, let's go for a walk. That's a good girl. What did you see? What did you see? Come on. Good girl.
So, the standoff with the pine squirrel uh, started out kind of small by me finding just a little bit of um, sawdust type stuff inside of the sub shack cabin. So I went in there and I put some molding in where I thought the sawdust was coming through, uh, did some caulking, uh, came back uh, looking around and there was just more stuff around, chewed up wood, straw, that kind of stuff. Didn't know what was getting in my cabin or where. And then Iris the dog got onto it and was going crazy all around the cabin trying to get something. And then finally I saw that it was a pine squirrel. And what he had done, or what she had done, was crawl up in between my roof sheathing and my steel roof because I used two by four purlins uh, between them. So they had an inch and a half, got up in there and started messing around. So uh, what I ended up doing was taking all kinds of wood trim and plugging up all the holes and uh, uh, sealing it all up from that guy and I'm giving him a multiple chances to just go away and find some place else to hang out. So I sealed off every possible hole that that squirrel could get in, in my cabin roof on and uh, kept an eye on it, watched it, and that little bugger just kept coming back for days and days and chewing on all my wood. And I could just find signs of him just working his butt off, trying to get into my cabin again. And here you can see him just up on the roof, just, he did it for days, just wouldn't give up trying to dig into my cabin again. And uh, I knew that these squirrels were very, very, very intrepid and stubborn. Uh, but boy, this guy just wasn't going to leave my cabin alone. So, I had to dispatch him with the BB gun. And I felt really bad about it, but I gave him every chance I could to just figure out I didn't want him there and leave. Uh, but he was going to fight till the end with me. And, uh, and I won. Rest in peace. Little squirrel.
Thanks a lot for watching this episode of Rolling Up to the North. Uh, please remember to subscribe, like, share. Most of all, comment and help me with my off-grid and my building and things like that. And I really hope you keep coming back.